Hey guys, how are you? Crafting with Sam. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd. I am doing a diamond painting with the chat today. And I got some poems for you. So let's get started. I'm sorry about the other two videos if my hand was in the way when I was filming it. So I just put it back on this side. Okay, the hummingbird flew away. The end of her sufferings that stretched so long, yet all I can think of its melancholy song, and everyone's feeling the same sorrow, for the day will start without her tomorrow. We beg her to come back and cry till her tears, sorry, till her hearts crack. But as but it is unknown she is gone forever and eventually will have to move on. But still, it is a disappointing in a way. Couldn't she stay a bit longer? I wonder if she can see us from a, from above the cloud. Oh, I can't stand the silence so loud. I wish she'd sing once more to me, but from such pretty sorry, but from such pretty jobs, our hummingbird is free. Now she has no bounds, nowhere near the ground, but it won't be the same for us again. Everyone's trying not to show their pain. Someone's got to be strong when everything has gone wrong. I'm writing with misty eyes because I have always hated goodbyes. That one's trying to make me cry. <laughs> Why does poems always have to be so sad but beautiful? I think that's the true purpose of them, really. <laughs> Okay, this one's A Million Miles or More by Richard Martin. You're the, you're the brightest star in my world, so bright. You light up the night once you came close to my world. I guess I was blinded by the light. I reach out to you, darling. I th thought your world was at my door. Now I know I was reaching for heaven. I must have missed it by a million miles or more. You said you didn't want me, darling. No need to try anymore. But you still shine so bright in my world. I must have missed it by millions mi miles more. Or, sorry, or more.
I reached out to you. Sorry, I reached out once to you. Darling, I thought your world was at my door. Now I know I was reaching for heaven. I must have missed it by a million miles or more. That was cute. This one is saying love can say so much. If words can mean so much and prove my love for you, I'll never lose my touch and my love will never be new. Words, there are a lot, yet good ones are so few to describe the love that I got. For my dearest darling, you. If hugging kisses were gold and can keep you always close, my love will never run cold since you're the one I love the most. Hugs can connect our hearts, kisses unite our souls, and yet we'll never be apart. If I am your everything, I am but dust, then you'll, then to you I'll never cling, my treasure that will never rest, for I do not deserve any love at all, yet you made your love and you, sorry, and for you I cannot help but fall, for you are a blessing from above. Eternity stars with me and you, and may it never end. May it remain faithful and true, and may you always be my life and my best friend. Two hearts. Is the next poem.
Two hearts are broken, torn and bleeding, stumbling through the darkest days. They coddle and resume their beating, speeding up along the way. Two hearts long for tender moments, so long since they yearned at length, numbness, both man and woman, clinging to each other's strength. Two hearts that have lost the battles of life's lessons learned, find each other in the darkness and a bright new love has is spurned. I'm having difficulty with pens today, clearly. Try this one. This is not a good day for us, really. There. Two hearts had given up on any hope that they would mend, finally intertwine round each other. Love is gone, it is now found again. Two hearts touching in the darkness, all ice melts underneath the heat. Steamy drops of water soften, winter chill when two hearts meet. Your smile makes me smile, Paul Holmes. Whenever I'm feeling sad and life's troubles wear me down, I look upon your lovely face and no longer wear a frown. Whenever the cold rain pours and soaks the ground, it is then I sense sunshine each time that you're around. Your smile makes me smile, and I feel so pleased in the same room as you, in your close proximity. 
Your smile makes me smile at people that pass me by. Sorry, pass me by. There's a spring in my step, a twinkle, and a twinkle in my eye. This last one is called Colors. I thought I knew colors, aren't they red and green and blue? I know white, black and gray, purple, pink and yellow too. And yet a lady stared at me like I co committed some crime. A, cl a cloth I thought was green. She sniffed and said it was lime. One dress I said was blue. My little sister called Turquoise. I accepted the mild, the mild rebuke. I didn't really have a choice. A rug was declared T A U P E. I have no idea what that's. Sky blue and navy blue. Sorry, no, wait. <laughs> when I when all I saw was brown. Then Anthony called her decor plum. Well, now they've got a clown. Sky blue and navy blue. I tell apart in a blink. But what is on earth is fuchsia. How how is it different from pink? Ladies love being precise with every shade, tint, and hue. How they do this with such flair, I still do not have a clue. So that is it for today. I hope you guys like this video. I am still away in a town, so this is a pre-record that you are watching.
says how much of cotton done. I finished the flower and a little bit of the blue. It is really coming along. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.